Hello everyone, welcome to a former farming in the Philippines. Well, as you can see, we got the pink truck fixed, we got the clutch fixed. And now we're gonna, we've got to move all this sand pile today. So yeah, a little bit more top time because I want to be sure we can get it in two more loads after this. So we'll make three trips here. They have been working on that, uh, I don't know, impending washout on the uh, culvert down there, but I don't know what all they've got done. Uh, I think that's enough, yeah. And so they've got cement and rock all around this, I don't know, I guess you could call it intake side. And you're gonna you're gonna put the floor in here. Well, I don't know, floor a pan. Yeah, I think that's a good idea too. You did a good job here. A lot has gone on since the truck has been. Maybe one foot down. All the culvert down. So you put the culvert down like yeah, a foot yeah. and a half. One foot and a half. So you just rolled it into the the hole. Yeah. So now you're going to put the cement and rock on this side? So you're going to put, you're going to put rock in here? And then, and then more soil and rock here with some cement on top? Yeah. Okay. So you're going to come up and over the culvert? So we're going to need more rock also? Yeah. Alright, well we filled all the sacks up. And this is actually the fourth trip. I'm just, you know, I'm leery about overloading this little truck. It's a great little truck, but it's not a, it's not technically a rock and gravel truck. I just want to be real careful not to overload it. But I don't want to put too much strain on the suspension. It's a rough road and it's a heavy load. I'd hate to bust a spring in it. So what what's remaining is going to be a load anyway. So it's worked out uh, well. So this portion of the road here that we're getting ready to go down is probably the steepest part on all this road. I'm in low range, four wheel drive, and it's still, I mean, we're so heavy, it's still going to uh, rev the motor. I forget who it was, Mike or Brian was wanting, was asking if the grader, when we bring the grader through here, could take down that hill some. And it could, it'd take it a long time, even to get six feet out. That's more of a job for a dozer. And even a dozer, it would take it some time. Why don't I take it back? This. This part of the road here is equally as steep. And for us, it's going to be going up.
amazing little trucks. Here's that big rock pile we're going to be coming back and getting more rock from eventually. It's much a smaller rock pile now. And we're continuing on here. They're picking out the biggest rocks to set down in there. <laughs> Careful, Tate. Don't let that go on your foot. Half of that sand out of there, and you can still see the back of that little truck is squatting. Turned out that was probably the heaviest load that we got was the last one. I thought it would be the lightest, but I guess that's what I get for thinking. Once you start clearing that, you know, there's like a the sand is like an inch deep everywhere in the pile, and so you know when you clean it up, clean up the pile it adds a lot of sand so more rock tatai or no huh more how many loads? Five? Boy, you're making the foreigner work very hard that time. <laughs> Once upon a time in the Philippines. All right, well, I guess I'm not going to get a break. Now it's back to hauling rock. A little break from getting rock. We, the truck is full of rock right now, but I, just, I needed to get out of it for a minute because my back is starting to cramp up on me from sitting for so long. Because the, the guys shoveled the last load of sand and they've been picking up the rock. So I was sitting for like, I don't know, almost an hour. So I just needed to get out for a minute. And they really need all hands here anyway. They're starting the, the pouring brigade. brigade. The more rocks that I use, want me to bring the truck down here and take them directly from the truck. Right. So, right there is Bohico, that's where we used to pay our power bill when we were hooked onto the grid. And across the street here, we just loaded up 10 bags of uh, cement so Tata and the crew can uh, finish up there. It went up five pesos a bag, but this was the cheapest place in town to get it. Um, so it was 180 pesos per bag, now it's 185, but it's uh, 20 cents a bag cheaper, 20 cents, 20 pesos a bag cheaper than the hardware that's kind of close to us in Santa Nino. So 
you know, it's, you're saving 200 pesos by coming here to get it. And uh, this is what we've been doing. Back I go. Well, as you can see, they've made quite a bit of progress here. Since lunchtime, they've built all this up where Barone is standing. And looks like the foreigners are going to get some more rocks. Looking good, Tete. The guys are continuing along here. They're doing that little ledge right there. So what's remaining is right in there. And I don't know, I asked Tata if he was going to uh, put a cement pad there to dry it over, but I don't think so. I think we're running too low on sand, and I don't know if we'd really have enough cement to do that or not. But it needs a, it needs a bit more trail. It's me driving over it, loaded, has compacted it quite a bit right here, so it needs a, needs a little beefing up, probably a couple, three inches. I think this is going to be enough rock. This is like, I don't know, at least a dozen, if not 15, loads of rock we've brought. A lot. Alright, well, <laughs> we were, I don't know, desperately short of sand. So me and Raniel and Ronmar went back and cleaned that sand pile like it was a kitchen table. And we were able to get three of those cement sacks full of sand, which was enough to make one more mix, one bag of uh, concrete and three bags of sand, so hopefully that'll be enough to get this last little portion here completed. It's still not as high as Tatai wanted it. But uh, we're out of materials, so I don't know. We'll get close. To, it'll get close to as high as he wanted it. He wanted it even with that uh, soil right there, but I don't. I don't know. I don't think we're quite, quite going to make it. And Petra's hungry. It's almost quitting time, and so that's almost feeding time for her. What can you say, Tate? Maybe looking good? Well, I definitely think it's looking good. This one, uh, I tell you, if this washes out, it's have to be a flood of biblical proportions.
All right, well, that's what they got done today. Not quite complete, but uh, I don't know. We could use another. I don't know. Maybe we'll maybe we'll take some of my sand from the house and bring it down here just to finish this little portion here. It needs to be done. There's enough cement, and there's enough. You know, probably have to bring one more load of uh, stones. But I would really like that leveled up right there. It's a little high here, and then it dips down. But we just flat out ran out of sand. And it's already almost 4 o'clock. I'm not going to take too long to go all the way to the house and get it and come back. So I always thought that what he wants to do for tomorrow. If he wants to bring in more sand tomorrow, finish up that last little bit, well, that's on him. But I'm done for the day. My back is killing me. I'm sure Rainyell's back is killing him too. Yeah, uh, that boy's... How old are you, Raniel? 17? Yeah, he's bulletproof when he's 17. I'm going to go home and make me some iced coffee and something to eat. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.